Hey everyone, this is Jonathan Villascusa and I'm going to be doing another tutorial on WordPress for all you real estate agents out there that are trying to tackle the SEO world of real estate marketing on online. So first thing that we're going to need to do is log into your WordPress site. After you are, go to the plugins, click on add new and you're going to be looking for a plugin by the name of WordPress SEO by Yoast. Okay, it's a free plugin. I highly recommend it. It saves me a ton of time um, because it lets me know exactly what's missing and that I need to put into my post to make sure that it, it is configured correctly for SEO purposes. So the first thing that we're going to come to once you get into it is the nice thing about it is it'll show you a little snippet preview and this is what they're going to see in search engines. Okay, so it'll give you a nice little look at what it's going to look like. So first thing, focus keyword. Okay, this should be basically your title of your entire article. Okay, um, if not, if it's just a single keyword, make sure to put in the keyword and that it's found everywhere. Okay. Um, next item of business is the page title. This is very easy to do. Just go ahead and click on this generate SEO title button right here, and it will automatically create it for you, which is this nice title right here. Okay. Next thing is the page URL, and that's basically your permalink. Okay, so if you guys are writing different permalinks, just make sure that it matches up that your focus keyword or that that keyword phrase is inserted in there. Okay, so that you don't run into any issues later on. Also, another thing that will uh, might uh, mess up your SEO is any uh, quotation marks or any special characters like that. Um, search engines don't use those, so just try to keep it with the typical letters, um, lowercase if possible, and the hyphen separating the spaces. Okay. Next would be your content. Okay. Just make sure that your uh, focus keyword is put in there at least one time. Um, search engines like about 3% uh, of what your body is about, what the body co content is about. So just make sure it's in there uh, like you would talk about in a, in a normal speech conversation. Okay. Not just stuffed in there to tackle that keyword because you will be uh, punished for it. Okay. Um, the next one is the meta description. Okay. And it gives you the box for it down here. So this is just basically a very short brief summary of what this post is going to be about. Um, I would make it very relevant and very enticing so that when people are searching for things in Google or Yahoo or Bing, they will be able to see it, read it correctly, identify and hopefully there is some call to action in there to make them click on your link to go to your site because that's the whole point of targeting search engines is to get this search engine traffic okay so hopefully this video was uh, good for you guys I know a few of you had a questions about how to work the SEO on the back end and what plugins were out there if any to really help you structure your SEO and this is probably the best one that's out there and it's free and it gives you everything that you need to know about SEO at, for at least the very good general broad description of it. There's also a page analysis which goes into much more detail, um, but I'll cover that in another tutorial just for now. Just covering the basics is good enough for your SEO and you should start seeing results very quickly with this with your WordPress site. Uh, most of the sites that I'm putting together, especially my own, I'm getting results typically uh, within 24 to 72 hours of posting something I'm already being found in search engines. So hopefully you guys like the video. Uh, I know a lot of you have been asking about it so if all of you that have uh, like the video with a thumbs up on the bottom on YouTube, I really appreciate that and if you guys love the video, you know, blast it out on your Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus or whichever social plugin you're using, um, I really appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time.